Why is he smiling? I don't know. And what have you been feeding him? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, come, come, come. Come and carry the bag. Baby, mm -hmm. hmm, you look good. Thank you. You see, life at camp was hell. I couldn't live one day without thinking about you. Really, it was hell. Sorry, let's go inside. We can discuss this here, okay? Let's go. Wait. What? You don't miss me or what? I did. You know I miss you. I miss you so much. Come. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> we still do. Alright, let's go. Let's sir. go. All right. <laughs> Show me how much you've missed me. Did you show you? Of course. Yes. <laughs> Baby, haven't you noticed I've been in search of a job for the past few months now? And I haven't been able to secure any. Baby, I understand. I perfectly do. But I want you to know one thing. In this country, there is no job anywhere. Job is scarce. Even the ones that are graduates, they, they, they're jobless. Some are even conductors. So please, I urge you to take it easy on yourself, okay? You don't need to think too much about it. God will definitely find a job for you. But for the meantime, take it easy. I'm your boyfriend. If there's anything you need, tell me. I will provide it. That's so sweet of you. But you know how I detest staying at home. I hate it. I hate it so much. Baby, I know. I know, I understand. Um, come to think of it. Why don't you tender your um, your CV with my company? I believe that way you definitely get the job. Because I'll be at the head of it. You know, honesty, baby. I've thought of that. But you see... We live in the same house. I think it would be uninteresting for us to work in the same office. I don't understand what you mean. Maybe I would love a situation whereby both of us will leave this house, go our separate ways, and come back here. By so doing, it will make our love stronger. Don't you think so? Yeah. It's just that um, this your issue of not getting a job, you're worried and all that. That was what made me to even thought of it. You know? <laughs> okay. I'll try as much as I can. Then if it doesn't work, I would consider sending my CV to your company. Oh, I'm so sad. Imagine me. A computer graduate with a 2-1. I can't believe I'm still in search of a job up until now. Be the cool down. Okay? That's what I'm here for you. God will definitely give you a job very soon. Alright? I love you so much. I love you too. Thank and you. Let's go inside. Let's stay out here, please. Baby! Baby! 
Maybe. Maybe I'm late. Sorry for keeping you with me. By the way, how do I look? Mm, amazing. Really? Thank you. Let's go. Um, Wish me luck. Best of luck. It didn't go as I expected. What happened? Why is most of my polygam also in the Why? What happened? They behave like dogs. Okay, listen. I went to the office today for the interview I told you about. After so much questions, the man said I can start work. Are you serious? You've gotten the work? So I thought. The moment he said I should come meet him in his hotel room, I lost hope. He wanted to sleep with you? Of course, yes. He wanted to sleep with me. <laughs> what is going on? Baby, I have to report that man. I must report him. Baby, what evidence do you have against him? It's true. Oh. I'm so sad. I I really had hopes on this one. I'm I'm so so Maybe sad. Thank you. Wait for me outside, okay? Why is your face like this? What's the problem? I am tired. Someone will go to the university, spend four years, plus one year serving the country, and then you come out struggling to get a job. How do you I oh god. It's 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 annoying. I know that things are not working out in our country right now, but with patience, I mean, everything will change for the best. I'm thinking of taking my CV to Brian's company. Maybe he will get me a job in his company. Why would you want to go to work with your fiance? No, no. So, no, no. It's not a good idea. Why? Listen, if you're not very careful, he'll get tired of you very, very soon. How can you sleep in the same house cook, eat with the same man, then the following day you wake up, you ride in the same car, go to the office, work and come back. It's ah, too monotonous. No, 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 no. I don't think it's a good idea at all. I've thought about that too. I've actually thought about it. But what do I do? I am tired of I am tired of searching for a job. The sun is too much. I've been walking up and down in search of a job. Okay, so what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? Why didn't I think of this sooner? I have this brother of mine who is in a very good position to give you a good job. Please, please. I'll, I'll, I'll really appreciate if you do that for me. Please, ma. Please, auntie. Because I need to support Brian. I need to support him. He's, he's, he, he's been there for me. He's really trying. I need to support him at least. I'll talk to him as soon as possible. You'll we'll hear from him. I'll be very happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. How is work today? Ah, oh, we thank God. Please thank tell God. your girl to get me water. Chica! Baby. So you're up. Your food is ready. Alright. What's that? I'm trying to calculate some things. Um, baby, did I tell you Auntie Foma spoke to her brother about my job? That's good news. She gave me the assurance that the brother would get me the job. 
keeping my fingers crossed. No, believe it. It's definitely gonna work. This time around, you're going to be lucky enough. I pray so, because I am tired. If this one finally works, I'll go for a Thanksgiving. <laughs> Trust me on that. I will. Baby, I am you tired. Will get this one, you will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Baby, come eat your food. It will get cold. Oh, I will be with energy. Let me just finish up with it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm in the kitchen in case you need anything. Sorry. My name is Sydney from your sister, Ifoma, as you already know. I graduated with a 2-1. I studied computer science, sir. Wow. That is interesting. So, um, why do you need the job? Ah, sir, every graduate wants a job. Um, besides, I love human interaction and that satisfaction you get when you know at the end of every month you get paid. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. <laughs> You're very pretty. I mean, has your boyfriend told you that? <laughs> Countless times, sir. Countless times. Sorry, right. um, um, the job is yours. Yes. Just like that, sir. Just like that. Oh, Auntie Foma told... Come on, baby. Uh, excuse me, sir. Come on, baby, come on. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. See, calm down. The job is yours, as far as I'm concerned. You know, my sister is... is with you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse oh, me. Baby. That wasn't what Auntie Foma told me. But this is the part of it. Come on, baby. Uh, excuse To hell with your job! Auntie you introduced me to a dog. Of all the sensible and responsible men on earth, you introduced me to a dog. Please calm down. Calm, calm down. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Can't this useless man give someone a job without trying to sleep with the person? What, what, what is going on? Wait a minute. Are you, are you trying to tell me that my brother tries to sleep with you? Yes, he tried. He harassed me. He almost tore my clothes into pieces. He almost raped me as a matter of fact. <sighs> oh, Sydney, I don't even know where to start apologizing. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I didn't know he was going to behave like this. <sighs> they are all the same. They are all the same. Uh, it's, it's okay. Um, Where's my bag? Let me let me call him. Let me let me come. He has to come here and explain to me what really happened. And see for my be on my way. Hello? Brother? Please can you come to my boutique right away? Yes, it's urgent. I need to see you. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Are you mad? I am talking to you. How dare you talk to me that way? Brother, please. Leave, leave that thing. Don't think you can come here and intimidate me. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Eh? I sent an innocent girl to you just for you to give her a job and you wanted to sleep with her. You even wanted to rape her. And you, are, you have the guts to come here and shout at me. Please shut up. Shut up. So you people are talking rubbish. Huh? You gossip with my name. So how? Oh my God. Ifoma, 
Anyway. Brother, since you have learned not to control that thing between your legs, I can talk to you anyhow I want. In fact, the, the truth is this. I'm tired of look, looking at you and seeing your face. I'm disgusted with you. Just just get up and leave my boutique. Just get up and go. I should leave your shop, yes. Ifoma. Brother Biko, just go, go. It has not ended though. If you are not careful, I'll report you to your wife. Nonsense. Oh God. What kind of men do we have these days? He actually did. What I do not understand is why every man I come across would want to sleep with me before offering me a job. I don't get it. It baffles me. First, he asked me if I am married. I said no. I tried telling him that I am engaged, but he cut me off. But well, why would Auntie Foma introduce you to a man like that? Auntie Foma is even disappointed herself. She was ashamed of herself. I saw that look on her face. She never knew the brother in question is that type of man. I don't know. I don't get this. I don't get it. This is the fire from the company. I just came back from there now. Okay. So what's next? Um, we just have to commence uh, payment immediately. But I suggest it should be a three installment. Okay. Okay, so how, when do we do the payment? Tomorrow? Yes, yes. The total sum is 3 million, 500,000 naira. Okay. So how do we do the payments? What are we paying first? Let's say 1.5 million will be okay. Okay. We're okay. ready to take it, brother. Let us just pay in the morning. It's alright. Um, what will happen is. Um, you forward the the account details for me, so tomorrow morning I'll, I'll do the payment. All right, I'll do that. Right, thanks. I have to be on my way. No, it's okay. I appreciate it. I got a story, story about life. Take it, JJ. Take it slowly. Life not easier. Oh. Life. Good afternoon. Oh, cool. Thank you. How may I help you? Please, madam, I came in search of a job. Okay, our manager is now around. We have to come back tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow then. Do you think I'll get the job? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Baby, I bumped into this... Um, job world agency today they're in search of a computer graduate i met with the receptionist and she said the position is still vacant so i'm just hoping i'll get the job um baby that's very good but i like from here and i will suggest you slow down slow down in this job content you're a french graduate in no time you will get job Maybe you should be encouraging me and not and not the other way around. Baby, I'm not discouraging you. But what I'm trying to say in a sense is this. Those men out there, they know who's desperate. And once you're desperate, they will tend to take advantage of you. Baby, I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate. I only need a job. That's all. Is it right now? In no time, you'll get a job. Okay? Now you're talking. Thank you so much. 
Baby, I'll have to sleep. Because hmm? I sense tomorrow will be a hectic day. Good night. Good night, just like that. left the food on the table. You didn't even touch it. It's everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine, baby. Um, I'm actually dashing out. My company ordered for some materials. And yeah, so I need to go and swap my set. That you couldn't even take a spoon. Baby, I'm going to alright? It's okay. Um, I'll be leaving for the interview I told you this morning. Uh, no problem. Go away, right? Um, good luck. I love you, baby. Same here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Just wait. Good morning, sir. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? Very well, sir. You're welcome. Um, my name is Sydney, sir. I studied computer science in the university. I came in respect of the advert I saw at the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So, apart from what you studied, how else can you help move this company forward? Um, sir, I will do everything within my power to make sure that the company moves to greater heights. Do you know you're beautiful? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I just that. <laughs> yes, sir. If there's any other thing you want me to do to make the company, um, just just tell me, sir. I would love to. I, baby, you're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> Idiot, cost manager. And you, why did you give me that look you gave me yesterday? Because I knew you can't do what it takes to get a job here. I, I see you as a decent woman. Really? I'm sure that is how you got yours. Cost people. Look at the way she's dressed. This company is cost. Cost people. Idiots. Bunch of losers. Um, what I have here. Now that the material is complete, I have to commence the second payment immediately, right? Yes. I think you have to pay in the money as soon as possible. So that once they get the money, they will commence work immediately. And uh, maybe it will, by the end of the month, everything will be put in place. In that case, I have to do the payment today. But you have to put all the necessary calls across and make sure they start working immediately. Just trust me, I will do just that. Sorry, thank you. Okay. He said he did what? Yes. He said I should take off my shirt, that he wants to see me nude. What I do not understand is why it has to be me. Why me? Why can't I go for an interview without any harassment? Baby, the truth of the matter is that um, you're a pretty girl. You're charming. Every man that sets his eyes on you would definitely want to have something to do with you. Oh, you? baby, please, these men are just perverts. They are perverts. Baby, please, just take me out. Could you please take me out? Please. I need to go somewhere cool just to relax my nerves. I just want to, just want to think. I want to reflect it's, on so many things. Is there, um, 
Maybe we'll go to the movies. <sighs> I'd rather go to the park, you know that. Somewhere, please, somewhere very cool. It's all right, I just... um, okay. Um, maybe we'll go to the beach. Mm hmm. The beach, then. Let me get dressed, okay? Please, let's go because I. I okay, let me never do this. No, baby, I need to go out, please. At least to calm my nerves. Please, these men are perverts. You should have seen the way he shouted at me. I had to walk him out of my boutique. Not even minding the fact that you are my friend that I introduced you to him, he still wanted to sleep with you. Did you think that you would not tell me? Maybe he felt I'd fall for it. He knew I needed that job. He knew it. Reasons he wanted to take advantage of it. I told him I was going to report him to his wife. I told him I was not finished with him. Auntie. And if he please, you don't have to do that. Please, I wouldn't want to be the bone of contention here. And I do not want to bring issues between you and your brother. Your only brother. And if you please, let sleeping dogs lie. Please. It's okay, it's okay, I've heard you. Thank you. But you're not honest, Antifi. Your brother needs his brain checked. Uh, but on a lighter note, who will see you? Which man will see you and not want to touch you? Eh? Do you think my, 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 my brother is a, a veteran? Ah, please leave that thing. Eh, but anyway, sorry, seriously, I apologize on his behalf. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And if you please call your girl, I need a um, credit card, please. I got a story, story about love. You got to take it, JJ. Take it slowly. Life not easier. Oh. Life. Oh, life. Take it, JJ. The girl you were hugging and caressing. Um, baby, that was Anita. She was my ex-girlfriend. Next time, um, I bumped into her two days old. I gave her a lift to know where I'm staying now. What I gave her was a friendly hug, nothing else. like you missed her so passionately I'm sure if you had the chance you would have kissed her as well what is wrong with you men baby can just why, why are you like this you're just very funny I don't have anything to do with Anita anymore she was my ex and that was it oh please who are you trying to deceive your ex-girlfriend my foot I saw what the both of you were doing in the open With you, Brian. Maybe I said she was my ex-girlfriend. I don't have anything to do with her. That's that's the Maybe you know what? You know, you always sweet whenever you're angry and your face glows. Right? Oh, please don't even try to patronize me. What's that? I've been struggling out there. I've been turning down sexual harassment because of you. 
And what do I get, Brian? Kissing a lady out there in the open. That's what you pay me back with. You know what? I'll be sleeping in the visitor's room tonight. Suit yourself. Did you just say I should suit myself? Brandy, was that what you just said? Yeah. Come on, tell me! Tell me you've had enough of me! You, you've had enough of me! You've had enough of me! I do not blame you! Brian. Brian is still messing around with his ex-girlfriend. Who knows how long this has been going on? Oh. If they eventually get back together, I'll be left with nothing. No Brian, no child, not even a job. Oh. No child, no... Babe. Hi, baby. How are you? Um, very well. Um, baby, please, I would love us to talk about something. Baby, not now. As you can see, I'm already late for work. Okay, let that wait till I come back. Okay. Do have a nice day. I love you. I love you too. Hope you're fine. Yes, I am. Bye. So I want you to know I love you so much. Okay? Do take Same. care of yourself. Same here. I'll see you when I come back. It's okay. <sighs> Did he just mean what he said? Sydney, this is going to be, this is going to be the heartbreak of the century. It's you this is, that I know. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, love me, love me. It's you that I know. It's you that I want. Sweetie, sweetie, love you, love you. Yes, what are you doing here? Everybody? Everything is free. I've been thinking. When are you coming to see my parents? Someone is feeling insecure. You think some girl will come and snatch me away from you? Do you still love her? If given a second chance, would you still date or marry her? You are the one I want to marry. I dated her, yes. For some reasons, I choose you over her. I want to make you my wife. I 
want you to be the mother of my kids. Then marry me. Make me your wife. Baby, I don't want to lose you. I don't. Marry me and I will feel safe. Do you think married men don't cheat on their wives? They do. Even in, in their matrimonial home. Are you trying to tell me that you will cheat on me when we get married? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Baby, please. Um, I want us to end this conversation. As you can see, I'm tired. I need to rest. Let's end it. In here is the list of all the materials that were supplied and also the one that has been used. Is that right? Um, that means it's, 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 it's. Oh, sorry sir, sorry. And what is going on here? Excuse me, Brian. Brian! She called you by your name, Brian. For how long has this been going on? That what has been going on? You actually told me you bumped into her. So here she is, working in your office. So Brian, you've been doing things behind my back, right? Sorry, please. Please. These are no fakes. We can't do this here. I beg you. Really? You can go. Let's get it. Do you know it won't take me anything to strip in front of a man to get a job? I know. Do you? I know. Well, please. This is not what we discuss here. If I get home, we can talk. You do not want us to talk about it here. Uh, that's fine. Meet me at home. Brian is at it again. I think he's cheating on me. The other day, I saw him hugging one girl in front of our house. When I confronted him, he said she was his ex-girlfriend. Today, I bumped into him with this same girl in his office. Why would she be working in the same company as Brian? Why? think I missed all the job opportunities because I was being faithful breaks me the more. So then let me ask you a question. Would you have slept with all those men if you weren't engaged to Brian? No. Then in the same vein, Brian might be innocent. Innocent? Innocent and he had to hide all this away from me. What stops Brian from telling me that this same girl works in his company? What stops him from telling me that? He might be just trying to save his relationship with you because he knows you're a psycho lady. And he hid something that's important away from me. Who knows what's been happening in that office? I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. I just have one question for Brian tonight. Just one question. My, my dear, the only thing I have to say to you is please calm down. Please, just calm down. Put your eyes on the ground. Make sure of your facts before you start accusing him. Don't forget that he's the man in this relationship. Because he's the man, you should do as he as he wishes. Because he's the man. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just, I'm so disappointed. That wasn't right. You belittled me in front of your girlfriend. Oh, you called her your ex. Yet you still have something. Secret little things to do with her. Sydney, are you aware you're turning into something else? Inag. What has come over you? Why this sudden change? Brian, you pushed me. You turned me into a nag. What have I done to deserve this? What? I want you to know one thing. I don't have anything to do with Anita. Brian, 
give me one reason. Just one reason why you had to hide such thing away from me. I want you to listen to me. Anita is not the only woman working in that office. We have so many of them. Please, I wish not to discuss this again. Oh yes, you would talk about it! I said you would talk about it! But you have the whole time to spend with your girlfriend! Disappointed in you. Like I said, I don't have anything to do with Anita and that's period. I wish not to discuss things again. Please allow me to sleep. Oh no, you're not sleeping tonight. You are not sleeping tonight, Brian, because it's eating me. It's eating deep into my heart. Discuss me with your girlfriend in your office. Tell me, Brian. Tell me. What do you do in your office? Sit and gossip. Is that what you do? She made mockery of me not being able to get a job. Brian. Did you tell her about it? What has come over you, Celia? You're losing it. Is this the way you welcome me now? Your husband to be? What is wrong with you? Everything is wrong with me, Brian! Everything! I met your girlfriend today at the supermarket. She insulted me simply because I do not have a job. Or simply because you work with her in the same office. What gave her the guts to talk to me in that manner? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Anita I know can never insult you. Brian, you're, you're taking sides with Anita. Calling me a liar. Sweetie, you really need to slow down. Anita I know is a very good person. 
She's a peaceful person. She cannot insult you. No. She cannot do that. She'd rather have you slap her, beat her up, than to engage in a fight with you. She cannot. All I want you to do is to slow down. Slow down. You're getting worked up for no reason. Yes. Slow down before you spoil something. I do not blame you this bit. You're behaving like a typical man who knows that his girlfriend is in love with him. But not to worry. I know what to do. Oh yes, um, Sydney came back yesterday and told me you insulted her. I want to know why. I've not heard of that name before, sir. Who is Sydney, if I may ask? For crying out loud, the lady you met at the supermarket yesterday was my fiance. The one you told she never had a job. Oh, sir. Please, with all due respect, sir. I can't insult your fiance. Why would I do such a thing? I did not. It's alright. Um, where is Vin? He's at the site, sir. Call him. I'll tell him I won't see him. Alright, sir. Let me go to my office. Sorry. You really need to adjust yourself. Stop nagging and find a way to make your relationship work. <sighs> Auntie Foma, is this what you have to say? I want to ask you a question and please give me an honest answer how would you feel if your boyfriend okay let me use the word husband works in the same company with his ex how would you feel will you feel safe to be candid I won't. But Brian here is an honest man. And he has told you that this girl is his ex. How do you think he can go back to his ex when he has somebody like you? Auntie Foma, you do not understand the emotional breakdown I'm going through. You don't have an idea how, how hot I feel. I love Brian so much. I I love him so much. I love him with my life, with everything I have. I'm crazy about him. I, I love him so much. I, I, love, I, love, I just love him. <laughs> it's you that I know. Sweetie, sweetie. I decided to submit my CV to your company. No, it can't be now. No, no. Why? You were the one who suggested I forward my CV to your company. Why the objection now? There is no vacancy in my company now. My company is trying to recruit new workers. Really? Then Saka. Sack Anita and fix me in her position. You are the manager. You have the power to do that. Why are you being selfish? When did you start turning this bad? When? You're becoming bad by the day. For your notice, there are so many boards of associates in that company. I'm not the only one. Anita was transferred to our office last six months. I cannot just wake up and sack somebody without the notice of every other person. It's not done that way. Besides, Anita read um, International Relations. 
you read computer science. So you cannot fit into a position. Oh, Brian! My profession is versatile. I can take up any position. So stop making excuses. So you don't have working experience. Anita has worked in our office for six good years. She was lucky enough to have gotten a job immediately after her graduation. Yes. So, even if my company decides today that we need to recruit or employ anybody, the person must at least have two years working experience. You don't have any. So you cannot compare yourself with Anita. She's far better than you. Okay? So all you have to do is just calm down. When there's vacancy, I will let you know. Really? It's okay then. I'll handle the situation. Sorry, there's no situation anyway. You and I know you're getting worked up for no reason. You know I love you so much. I really love you. You. How are you? Hi. Yeah. You look good. I'm not looking bad either. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, this one you came to my shop today. Do you want to do a surprise shopping for my friend? Um, not really. I want you to help me do something. Okay. What's that? I want you to talk to Sydney. She's becoming something else. She's really getting on my nerves and I don't like it. She's accusing me of um, having an affair. Please talk to her. We don't want to have problems with her. I will. It's all right. Thank you very much. Um, one of these days I'll stop by and do some shopping. I'll be waiting. All right. <laughs> you take care of yourself. I will. Eh? Thank you. Bye bye. myself that this whole thing will work. My mind is no longer at peace. told me over the phone that you were coming to spend the weekend with me. I didn't know it was this serious. Anyway, you are welcome. Thank you. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? Thank you so much. You are welcome. You know this is your home.
George, when will you stop this nasty attitude of yours? You really need to stop it. Uh, Brian, my brother, I will when the time comes, when I settle down. But for the meantime, allow me to enjoy my life now. Allow me. The truth of the matter is that I don't know what you tell all these girls that made them follow you. That is one thing that baffles me. Oh, you are surprised, eh? You want to know. You want me to teach you, eh? <laughs> you want to have your own girl? <laughs> George, I am not like you. I don't need a girl, you know? I have a fiancé. I am not interested. I don't need any girlfriend. I'm okay with one. Uh, yes, Brian. Talking about your fiancé, I, I, I've not met her before. I, I thought you guys stayed together. Yeah. We live together. But the truth of the matter is that she's not around. She went over to see her girlfriend. She'll be spending the weekend there. Well, um, it's necessary sometimes, you know. Uh, I got it. So this is the reason why you called me down to come and keep you company, yeah? Hey, <laughs> my brother, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Because the judge you're looking at now, I'm clubbing tonight. Let me go wind down a little bit, you know. George, suit yourself. Um, I don't have a problem you clubbing or not. What I'm trying to say is that you need to cut down on some things you do. Okay? You're my friend. I wouldn't want it to be disgraced one day. No, I'll take care of myself. It's alright. Be good. Let's go straight to the point. How do you hear about this organization? Um, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Miss Sydney Uko. I'm a graduate of University of Ibadan. That's fine. Yes, ma'am. I studied computer science. I came out with a 2-1. Two 2-1? One. Two one. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I am a Christian. I came across your adverts on our church bulletin. Yes. Since, mm. Okay, since I didn't have a job, I decided to apply. I will quickly show you my CV. Forget it. We don't need your CV. You have gotten the job. Are you serious, madam? Who will see a pretty girl like you? I will not give her a job. But, but, but madam, let me just show you. Don't I worry, don't worry. Listen, in this, our organization, we don't need CV. First of all, you have to register with 15,000 Naira only. Only 15,000 Naira. Then you take a step. I mean, taking a step, you have to buy our drugs. 150,000 Naira. After selling the drugs of 150,000 Naira, you make 50,000 Naira. 50,000 Naira will be yours. And we have other orientations. We we'll give you our machine, go out there, examine people. Then, after examining them, the 2000 Naira, the person will pay 2000 Naira, and 2000 Naira will be yours. But listen, the 2000 Naira will be yours only when you will be able to convince the, your client to buy the drugs. Once your client buy the drugs, 2,000 Naira will be yours. My dear, imagine 
we will be able to examine five patients every day. If you examine five patients, we make 10,000 naira. 10 patients, 20,000 naira. Just think about it. You are rich already. What sort of business is that? Is that a new way of robbing people? No. Hi. Sydney, you've suffered. No. You will make it here. It's easy. You will make it. Madam, I do not want to insult you. I'm in search of where I will get paid and not some sort of registration or whatever or organization you talk Calm about. Calm down, my dear. Calm down. You will come back. You will like it. I know you will come back. Baby, I said I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I wanted it to be a surprise. I thought I would get the job, but I got more than what I bargained for. I'm sorry, please. Baby, see in this city, Everybody wants to make it. And by so doing, some fake people set up a fake organization to do people. What I'm trying to do is to make you understand the way you're going about things, especially this is your job issue. It's not the right way. Okay? I want you to withdraw your steps. Let's plan about it. Thank you so much, baby. It's all right. Um, I'll be traveling in two weeks' time. My company, um, they, they're sending us for... Us? Yes. Me, Vin, and um, Anita. Anita again? How long are you going for? Two weeks. It's okay. Okay. No, you're not jealous. I'm learning to trust you. Good night. They are traveling together. They are going on a trip together with his ex. And so? They are going to put her court. And by the time they come back, he will pronounce her the new bride. Really? How did you arrive at that conclusion? <laughs> Listen, Sydney. I was once like you. I was was in a very very good relationship with a man that loved me so much but I was like you I was jealous I was possessive I complained about every little every girl he looked at at a point he couldn't take it any longer and he left me since then my life has not been the same I've not been able to meet a man that I like so much like him. And that's why I'm an old maid. No husband. No children. Do you want to end up like me? What I'm trying to say here is that Brian once dated this girl. He once loved her. You don't expect me to, to, to just fold my hands or keep quiet or, or not to get nervous or something. I'm scared. Good. You used a very good word I like. You said loved. Past tense. He loved her. Now he loves you. He has told you several times that the relationship between him and Anita is just purely work-based. Nothing romantic. Why can't you... Believe him for once. Give him the benefit of doubt. Haven't you heard of old flames? Old flames! Okay, I've heard you. Please, you are, you are, you're just too worked up for my liking. Just take your thing. Here, here, here. Calm down. Calm down, I'm giving you. It's you.
that I know Sweetie, sweetie Lovey, lovey It's you that I want Hello, George Yeah, how far? Uh, I'm good, I'm good I'm doing good Bro, uh, there's this thing I want you to do for me uh, Want you to do me a little favor Yes, I want to visit my my fiance's people. So, but though I will be traveling this weekend, and I'll be traveling this weekend. So, when I come back, I want you to accompany me to see my fiance's people. I, I don't know if you're going to be chance. Is it alright? Oh, thank you. But we'll see, though. We'll see. Once I'm back, I'll let you know. Is it alright? So who are you with? Tell me. I heard a lady's voice. This guy, can't you please leave my phone? Right? Job vacancies. Job vacancies. This is this is a site for job seekers like me. Application for what I thought class people doing on the site. Is they should give way for people like us. Oh God, please let me get this one, please. Requirements. I got a story, story about life. All life. You got to take it, JJ. Lady, um, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Um, actually, sir, my interview was scheduled today, and I I know, I know already, and I've been waiting for you. Now, tell me, what's your discipline? Um, computer science, sir. Wow, computer science, yes, sir. Fine, hmm, exactly what I've been waiting for. You welcome, pretty lady. You Thanks. welcome so much. I like you already. My spirit accepts you. You already employed. Uh, thank you, sir. You're working already. Thank you. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't say too much. Don't mention. Okay? You look so pretty. Wow. Good afternoon. Good evening, my dear. You're mm. welcome. Thank you. This one you're happy like this. What happened? Oh, uh, has Brian fixed a date? I pray. Oh, I pray. Auntie Foma, Sydney now has a job. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Auntie Foma. I was worried. I was tired of staying at home. All this while I was in search of a job, I was frustrated, I was angry. You're a witness. I know it's not easy. But you know why I'm happy? Mm -mm. At least now you'll be busy. You stop prognosing into Brian's business. Oh, Auntie Fama, please, today isn't about Brian. It's about me. So let's celebrate. Okay, okay, let's celebrate. Now. Chica! <laughs> Come on, get us something to drink.
I'm very well, I missed you. How are you? I'm good. How was your trip? Yeah, cool, I missed you. Really? I missed you too. I missed you so very much. So tell me, how have you been coping with your manager? Stressful. It's been hectic. Baby, what is it? I thought you said you missed me. Of course I did miss you. But it's just the stress at work, baby. Not to worry, okay? Tomorrow we'll have all the night to ourselves. Baby, I've been away for two weeks. And you called me. You told me on the phone you've been mixing. I'm here to make it up. And you're ignoring me. Why? Baby, there's, there is no problem actually, there is no problem, it's just the stress at work. Like I said earlier, not to worry, okay? We'll have the night tomorrow to ourselves, please. Yeah, I understand. I've decided to go see your parents this weekend. We yeah, can so commence on the marriage plans and Are you serious? Oh my God! <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you. At least my mother will get to put a face to this Brian. She's been hearing me say Brian, Brian, Brian. I'm sure she can't wait to see you. I'll have to call her tomorrow. No, no, no let's make it a surprise. Ah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to call her tomorrow because this is just. This is just the best thing I've heard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for making me proud of you. Let me fraction you, all right? <clears throat> George, why is it that you can never make sense for once? Hmm? Must you, must you talk rubbish? Brian, let's see, I must tell you something. Eh? If you see the last one I knocked, hmm? she was so good. The girl was so, so good. If you see what this girl did to me in bed, gosh, the girl was too tight and sweet that I nearly forgot my brains. <laughs> Though she works in my company, you know, I, I, I have to do the deal. I have to screw the living daylight out of her before getting that job. You know what I mean? What you're telling me is that you slept with this girl simply because you want to give her a job. Uh, what's my business? Oh, poor girl. Enough of your stupid um, stories. As you can see, today is my day. And I don't want you to spoil it. I'm actually waiting for my girl to come. We'll head straight to their people. That's my man. Now you're talking. Oh. What? What is going on?
No, no, no. You both know each other? Right. Don't tell me she's your fiancé. What are you talking about? This, she's my wife to be. You're looking for a job. Brian, please. Brian, please. Brian, please. I'm, I'm equally ashamed of myself. Baby, baby, please find a place in your heart and forgive me. I should find a place in my heart to forgive you. Do you know what that idiot was blabbing before he came down? Do you know? He was talking about how he met this new girl, how the girl was good on bed and all that. Not knowing that the person in question is my own girlfriend. What are you talking about? I was thinking, I thought you were different. I thought you were different from every other girl. Now I know you're, you're, you're a very sick girl. You're very sick. I'm very loose. Maybe you know how I have struggled to get a job. You know how hard it was for me to get a job. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm very sorry, and then you, you, you went along with your ex and- We caught the crap! What are you talking about? For your notice, I did not travel with Anita. I traveled with Vin. My company had to drop Anita. Yes! You traveled out of this house for your youth service, you spent one year. Did I bring any girl to this house? No, I did not. Because I wanted to remain faithful. I remained faithful for you. All because I traveled. I traveled for just little. What you did is just to, to throw yourself shabby to that useless friend of mine. What are you talking about? I am so ashamed of you. I was thinking you're different. Now I know you're, 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 you're like every other girl on the street. I'm sorry. You know what I want you to do for me? I want you to go straight to that wardrobe. Pick all your things and get out of my house. Get out of my house. I don't want to push you. Get out! Don't get close to me. Don't just remain there. Don't get close to me. Just stand up. I just said stand up. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Get out! 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 Get <laughs> Sydney, how long will you continue like this? For how long? What, what, what do you expect me to do? I have. I have ruined everything I've built over the years. I, I ruined it with my bare hands. I'll take care of them. Let's go, okay? My sweetie, sweetie. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh.
It's you that I know. Sweetie, sweetie, love me, love me. It's you. Sydney was his girl. I never knew. What have I done to myself? What? Brian is like a he's like a brother to me. Very nice. He has always been nice to me. Very good. Oh God, why didn't I listen to him initially? Why? Stop by after work. Yeah, I'll stop by after work. I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. 
Are you okay? I've noticed that since you came to work, you've been like this. Hope all is well. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just I have a um, little headache. But I'll be fine. You help me go to the family department and get me some pills, all right? Okay, sir. I'll do that with you. Thank you. It's you that I know. Sweetie, sweetie, lovey, lovey. It's you that I want Sweetie, sweetie, lovey, lovey It's you that I want Sweetie, sweetie, lovey, lovey It's you, my sweetie Love is sweet for the two hearts that understand themselves. Sweetie, patience and kindness makes love better. No need to worry, my heart beats for you. Please hear me, my sweetie. It's you, only you. It's you in my heart, always. It's you, only you. It's you that I know, sweetie, sweetie. I'm finished. Finished. You never knew. Do you know what you took me to build that relationship? Do you know how many years it took me to build it? Right. I am ending this today. Let's see. What?
Brian, please, please, forgive me. I won't do it again, I promise you. Shut up your mouth! You have the nerves to sleep with my wife. Please now, forgive me, please. I'm scared. Shut up your mouth. I'm scared, please. You're scared? Yeah. I'm sending you back to where you came from. Huh? No! It's me, Adams. Uh, someone they will look for you. Someone? Tell the person I'm not around, please. Whoever it is, tell the person I'm not around. Oh God, not be here, now she. Now one fine bed. Adams, are you deaf? I said tell anybody looking for me. I'm, I'm not around. Huh? Stupid you. I'm not around. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't yell at me. Is it with someone inside? Then you know they yeah. Come they go now. Just say you know. Oh yeah, no, yeah. When you find out something, you know they come they go. You know they you not know, like maybe they go. Oh, I don't think you say not like first. Maybe they go. Again, ah, what's all this? Let me have rest in my house.
Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you killing yourself over someone that doesn't even deserve it? You will not understand. Understand what? Okay, you want me to understand that my stay in this house is not even making any difference to you, right? Why would you say a thing like that? You and I know you mean the whole world to me. Then you have to let go. If you truly mean what you just said to me, you have to let go. Forget about her. See there. No matter what, I'll be here. Just give me the chance to help you out, okay? said, what are you doing in my house? Brother, please, I came to apologize to you. Forgive me. It, it was a mistake. Sorry for what? What are you sorry for? Tell me. Right, calm down. I hasn't got into this. Please. I should calm down. Is that what you said? I should calm down. You know what I want you to do for me? Please, I want you to go marry Sydney. I, I leave her for you. Take care of her. Just take her. Right, I, I don't need her anymore. Now I want to plan my life. That's what I want to do. It hasn't got into this. Can you please leave my house? I wouldn't want to criticize. Okay, say make you the go. Shut up, shut up. Get out. I'm sorry. I just said get out. He hasn't got, he hasn't got into this. George, get out. George, get out of my house now. I'm talking to you. You're please look at me. Get out of my house, George. Go now. I'm going. Say okay. Say make you go. Go. I don't know that I'm How dare you? How dare you open the door? I love the door. How stupid! Mm. It's a shame. You're very stupid. Mm. You know that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I said be on the ground. Okay. We'll be here for two hours. Hey! The sun will be true. I don't know. I'm on. I don't. I love that door. I lock him. I don't know what the, the way he take disappear and appear. I love that door. I don't say no be the small gate. I lock him. I don't say I lock him. Yeah, I don't know what he means. Why he take that? I don't die. I don't die. Sydney. Do you want to kill yourself? How long will you continue like this? 
I know what you did was not good. But it's all in the past now. Because I've known you to be a good, decent girl. What happened must have been an act of the devil. So, I, I think I'll make her time and go and talk to Brian. Plead with him on your behalf. Maybe he will take you back. And if I don't bother. I do not deserve him. Not to worry yourself. I, I, I do not deserve Brian. It really, really kills me to see you in this condition. And I just can't sit by and watch you and not do anything. It's like you stay around here. Um, yes, I live down the street with my family. Oh, okay. Family, you mean with your parents? No, of course. At my age. I live with my family, my husband. Your husband? Yes. You're married? Of course, with three kids. Three kids? Yeah. Um, is, um, is Brian aware of this? Of course. He, he knows, knows about it. He knows about it. Oh, what has Brian? <laughs> he's um, he's very well. Actually, we are no longer together. Why? Did you shit on him? Because that's the only way you both be separated. While I was dating him, I cheated on him, and he left me. He left me. And since then, no contact. Till the day I met him in a company where he is working. My dear, working in that office was hell for me. Seeing him every day was hell. I was ashamed of myself for what I did to him years ago. My sister, see, Brownie is a good man. But thank God, they transferred me to one of our branch in Lakey. That's when I left the office. Um, thank you very much. I have to. My sister, let me tell you one thing. Brian would rather keep a thief as a wife than to keep a shit as a girlfriend. I know him too well. He's a good man. Um, um, thank you so very much. I'll You're have welcome. to be on my way. I mean, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. It's, it's okay. Forgive myself for this. I don't think so. I doubt if I would ever forgive myself. I'm, I'm, I'm left without anything. I'm, 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 I've lost a good man. Lost a good man. I, 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 I'm just lost a good man. I'm just lost a good it's man. It's you that I know. Sweetie, sweetie. Lovey, lovey. It's you. Yeah. 
It's Sydney. It's, you. it's me, Sydney. My sweet dear. Madam. How now? I'm, I'm looking for Brian. Please, I want to see him. Yeah. If you check the other everywhere, I don't know. I said I'm looking for Brian. Brian! Brian! Brian, it's Sydney! Please, I'm sorry! Brian! No, me Brian! 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 That's him, honey! Brian! 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 Okay, I tell him, I tell him. Brian, I don't know. I don't know. Brian, please, I'm sorry. Brian, yeah, yeah, Brian, listen to me. Brian, Brian, come to listen to me. Brian, Brian, Brian. It's you that I know. Sweetie, sweetie, lovey, lovey. It's you. George, why? Why? Why did you betray our friendship? George, I took you like a brother. Hey, Brian, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I promise I will change. In fact, I'm not touch any I'm not touch any girl in my life again. Please. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. It's all a dream. God. Hey. Brian, please, forgive me. Listen, if only you can forgive me, I promise you, I will change. I will not do it again. I promise. I've realized my mistakes. I won't touch anything like again, please. Please, have mercy. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Father, please forgive me. If you can touch Bryce's heart to forgive me, please. I'll be so happy. I promise you one thing. I will never ever touch any girl in my life again. I will not do it again. I promise. <laughs> forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I will do it again. I promise you. I must see. <laughs> Miss your me, Lord, please forgive me. Sydney, how are you? I'm trying to be fine. Are you not going to work today? Work. I've resigned. You've what? Are you out of your senses? How? Why? I resigned to free my conscience. And to show Brian how sorry I am. I think I understand how you feel. It's okay. I've been going to my shop now. Please, you can join me there later if you want, okay? Brian, please, I came to beg you to plead with you to have mercy and forgive Sydney. I know that she has wronged you grievously, but please, ever since the incident, she has refused to eat. 
to speak to anybody. In fact, she's, she's so sick now. If you see her, you have pity. Please, I beg you, forgive her. You want me to forgive Sydney? Do you know the gravity of what she did? The sin she committed against me? Do you know? She have the nerves to sleep with my best friend. Is that justifiable? It's not. A woman I loved so much, showed her so many care, went behind me to sleep with my best friend. I cannot forgive her. I will never and I will never forgive her. I thought she was different from every other girl on the street. But I thank God this thing happened the way it happened. At least, he made me know that she can never be my wife. Help me tell her that I've moved on and she should do the same. Brian, I know you as a simple, honest and straightforward guy. I never knew your heart could be this hardened. Both of you used to be in love. It was just when Anita came into the picture that you know, she became so jealous, so protective, and she allowed her jealousy to get into her head. But please, whatever the situation, I beg you, please. You and I know Anita is not the issue here. She is not. Your friend, Sydney, she has always wanted to sleep with my friend. And they had the opportunity, they had it. I, and you're telling me to forgive her. I cannot. Um, tell her to, that the road is so wide for her now to enjoy my friend George. As for me, I will never have anything to do with her again. She's a whore, a very cheap one. And I can never marry a whore. So please, um, if, if this is what you came to my house to discuss with me, I, I beg you to take your leave. Are you telling me to leave your house? I am not asking you, I'm telling you to leave my house. Like seriously? Yeah, I don't want to be rude. Please leave. Thanks for coming. How long will you continue like this? For how long will you keep crying? For two days now you've not eaten anything. Do you want to die of hunger in my house? Huh? Married with three kids. Are you serious? She actually cheated on Brian while they dated. Hmm. And Brian dumped her. She said ever since she was transferred to Brian's branch. Uh -huh. It's been hell for her. The fact that she gets to see him every day torments her. <sighs> you see your life. Did I not warn you? Did I not tell you severally? Or did you listen to me? No. I told you to take things easy. 
that I felt that Brian was telling the truth, that he was innocent, a good and decent guy. But you don't listen to me. Now look at what you've done to yourself. Oh. She also added that Brian would rather keep a thief as a wife than to keep a cheat as a girlfriend. My dear, I believe that completely. I believe it. You needed to have seen the way Brian talked to me when I went to his house to beg on your behalf. He warned me severely. It, he almost called his security men to carry me bodily and throw me outside the gate if I ever mention your name in, to his hearing. He was so mad. Mm. Have I? Have I really lost him? Yeah. My dear, you have a... So if I were you, I would pick up myself, dust off myself, and move on with my life. That's the honest truth. But if I'm not going to be hard, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But it's something you must do. It's okay. But you have to. It's okay. It's okay. My sweetie, sweetie. Oh, 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 Enter the waka. Now, like, Papa, did this house. This is my boyfriend's house. I want to see Jill. They go. See, I just the waka. I like, said, Hi. Yeah? They go. My daughter said, You know, one see anything with the woman. Anything. You don't know me. Like, don't touch me. God. I beg you. I beg you. Come on. Take you now. Allow me. They go. They go. Don't touch me again. They go now. Yes, yes I'll go. Excuse me. They go. Also, the just the talent, but no. They were up and down, they come, they go up. I will make sure you use your tongue. I don't know the reason for that. I don't know the reason for that. They go. They go. Ah! 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 Ah!
Oh my god, they call me. They call my god for phone. See me, I tell you. My god say, if not the woman again, not by force. Not by force. Those who are kind, they go. They go anywhere where you want to go. For this, as you know, they enter a move. Others say, if no need woman, you don't hear the call of the phone. Eh? Come, they go. You will insult your generation. You go! It's your generation that you will insult. You will die doing this gate, man. No, sir, as in there. Don't worry, I'll mm -hmm. make sure George sack you from this world. Mm, sack who? Nonsense. For your mind now, if you don't say, you'll be packaged engine. When I tell you, my God, don't lose you. Scatter everything where they inside you. Nonsense. See, your nyash don't bend. Before the time I know you, your leg there like this. But now you don't there like this. You the, you the fuck. Stupid woman being. But see, make I tell you, small time I go right hand. Beware of women. Beware of women since I've been a woman. I go right hand. Consent. Make I see you cross these streets again. No, say this. This place is not my house. Let me stop you. Let me see you here again. Hello? Chica. Did Stephanie come and come to the shop to pick those things that she selected? Uh, How much did she give you? Uh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Hold on, I'll call you back. What's it? What's the matter? I've lost him. It's dawned on me now that I've lost him. I saw Brian today with one very pretty girl. They were coming out from a supermarket. He looks happy with her. I. I've lost him, Nancy Foma. Now that he has turned on you, now that you've lost him, what are you going to do? I hope you'll be able to move on with your own life. What will I do? And to move on. I know it will not be easy, but you have to make an effort, okay? <laughs> okay. Why on earth will Steve introduce me? Oh, Lord, forgive her. No. It's not possible. After much love and children and attention, she has the nerves to shit on me. I cannot forgive her. Not forgive her. It's not possible. Huh. God. Why sick me? Sick me why? Are you okay? You guys are still thinking about her, right? Okay. Do you need anything? Okay. Good night. You take care okay? Thank you, Mother. Oh, God. Sydney, why? you want? Why? Lord Jesus, I have come.
come to you this moment as a sinner. And in your mercy, forgive me my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. Lord Jesus, accept me back. I know I have hot brine. I know I do not deserve him. I know I have caused a lot of damages in my life, in his life, and in our relationship. Lord Jesus, forgive me. If there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. Let him find a place in his heart and forgive me. Father, give me the strength to move on. I cannot do this alone. Give me, give me the strength to to move on. Father, give me the strength. I cannot do this alone. I am broken, Father. Your remaining clothes, I want you to come and take them. I don't want any any of your belongings in my house anymore. Please, I am begging you. If I wait for you for five hours and I don't see you, I will have no option that to bond it. I'll be right there. I'm I'm coming, I'm coming. Was that on the phone? Brian, he said, he said I should come get my remaining stuffs. When do you intend going? Right now. He gave me just five hours. <sighs> Auntie Foma, please. Would you accompany me? Is that what you want? Yes, please. How do I look him in the eyes? How do I stand him? No problem. I'll go with you, okay? Let me change my clothes while you also do the same. Am I right? Who? You don't 
How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, Sidney told me that you called and he asked her to come and take her remaining kids. Sid, could you please go in and get your things so that we can leave? Go in where? I have a clothes. Take your clothes. Brian. Brian. Brian, please. Don't touch me. Baby, please. Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm not asking you to marry me anymore. I'm not asking of that. Because I know I've wronged you. I'm not even worthy to stand before you anymore. I feel dirty standing in front of you right now. All I'm asking is for your forgiveness. Baby, please find a place in your heart and forgive me. Get out of my house. Baby, baby, it's I it. just said get out of my house. Baby, baby, listen to me. It's, it's Sydney. It's Sydney. Get out of my house! Hey! Have you lost it? Take your clothes. No, 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 we're leaving. My sweetie, sweetie. Oh. Sweetie, 
Hello, Brian. Huh? You want me to come to your house this evening? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm free. I am very free. I will come. All right. Thank you. Okay. Ah, ah. Hey, Brian. Brian wants me to come to his house this evening. Could this be what I'm thinking? Hey, God. Thank you so much. You've done it for me. I knew you would do it. Thank you, Lord. I got a story, story about life. It's dead, yeah. Take it slowly. Life not easy. Oh. It's 
It's you that I know Sweetie, sweetie Lovey, lovey It's you that I want Sweetie, sweetie Lovey, lovey It's you Love is sweet for the two hearts that understand themselves, sweetie. Patience and kindness makes love better. No need to worry, my heart beats for you. Please hear me, my sweetie. It's you, only you. It's you in my heart, always. It's you, only you. It's you. Yeah